What? It feel like a guy. You ain't got no napkins in this <laughs> We on. Oh, for real? <laughs> it's my makeup towel. Okay, That's all girl. I got. Okay. Mm -mm. Pet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take the guy. Mask off your phone. Show it, bro. Why you hating? I don't know how you do this. You ain't got no cold water? Go get your water and stuff. I cannot. Is you ready? Yes, ma'am. You looking like you're in interrogation. I feel like I'm interrogation. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And we have her. Thank you. I'm pretty sure y'all don't know who this is. Or if y'all are longtime subscribers, y'all know this is my wife. The wife. Y'all don't need to know her name. I don't want y'all following her or nothing. Today we're going to be talking about the Black Expo Part 1. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, I will make sure to post that vlog right here in the corner. And we're going to talk all about it as well as show you some items from what, uh, from what we got. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell. And comment something nice right now. Let's get into it. I want to bait in on it because of the simple fact she was there with me today at the pop-up shop. We could start showing the items that you bought <laughs> uh, and then we can express some experience on the first pop-up shop. I'm on boy. Okay, the first thing first, um, our boys went, got them a little outfit, picked out a little Lacoste outfit. It's pretty cute. Pretty close for <clears throat> that one's depending on the shirt. What the shirt looks like? Nice little shorts. That's um, he has the blue one. With the blue look a lot. The call shirt. Yes, sir. So with the company that they got that from. I think they had ran out of business cards if I'm not mistaken, but they're called the Drip Kid. Oh yeah. The Drip Kid. And they did spray their outfits with cologne. Here is. I was wondering what that smell was. Yeah. All they clothes smell like cologne? Like, no, they spray it like once you buy it. They basically got matching outfits. One just blue, the other one is um, yellow. And it came with pockets, and my son was saying that he liked the fact that it I had deep pockets. These pockets on. Is. But they were really expensive. Each outfit was 40, 40 a piece. So they really were expensive, but they had mostly kid clothes. Like, um, I think she said they went up to 12, 14, but they had like from newborn all the way up. So that was the first one. They were pretty cool people though. Yeah, you wanna show off your, your sunglasses? Okay, yes. Hold on, so, let's take this one to the side. I think this is about the only thing that I picked out um, that I thought was pretty cool. You know, I saw some shades. That I like, and due to the fact that we have a mask, I mean, like the corner and stuff, I get tired of shades fogging up. But these don't don't fog at all. I got these on the inside is pink. pink. Did you see that? I smell. And I got these. Those these. are mine. Smoke offers. It's mine. These they gotta match my little bit right now. I might just keep these on. You know? Mine got pink in it. Nice. It's, it's oh, purple. purple. Pretty so, freaking I mean, cool. It might not look like you can't see all of it, but. You can really see? Yeah, you can see. You never tried these on? No, I didn't try mine. Well, you can try my pair on. Bruh. Let's go. This is my pair, you guys. What else? Oh, that's fly. And the person who got there for my flash record. Oh, and also, oh yeah, they got a pair of earrings. Um, I think it's pretty cute. Black queen. Them are super cute. They can see that. Yeah. Oh. I always wanted to do this. You <laughs> <laughs> need to come. She always wants to put the hand behind. But I think it's funny. Super cute. Is, uh, like a lady twenty. Look her up. Saw black-owned businesses. 
and I will also link everybody, everyone's business down below, their Instagram, their websites and stuff so that you guys can go and follow them or go shop with them. Which one was from this? Oh, this one is from Hot Mommy's Boutique. Well, I don't want to show y'all. I don't want to show y'all her coupon code. And she was selling jewelry, jewelry and clothing. Oh yeah. I can't yeah. show you guys like the whole entire pan set. But... Okay, so basically the pants come ripped on the side like this. Which, here's the back. What you laughing at? I'm laughing. And then here's the front, which basically this is the only thing that I could fit in her stuff. Um, here's the skinny jean part. She had a couple of outfits that I know wouldn't go good on the bosom area. So I decided to opt out and just get the jean. Okay, this one here is from which one? Um, Shadez. Shadez, right? By Nisha? Mm -hmm. Shadez by Nisha. Um, if you guys have Instagram and y'all want to go ahead and scan. She's really nice. Um, about how many people you would say was there? Um, so, unfortunately for me, I actually stumbled upon another stopping shop. Bruh. Uh, Pop-up pop shop. <laughs> um, so I actually seen probably a little more than what she did. So I say in our building, it was about probably like 20 vendors. And the other one was about seven or eight. We got their cards too though. Shadez, mm -hmm. Nisha, I went ahead and grabbed this purse. This is the one my mom picked out. And I thought it was super freaking pretty. And they are so freaking heavy. These purses is heavy, y'all. I was thinking about bringing these into my website, but I never knew exactly how heavy they were. It's heavy, huh? But the inside, and I don't know what I'm going to put in here because most of my purses are huge. But it does have this little divider inside. And they're like the jelly purses. I see everybody sell, selling them and having them on their shop. So I thought it was super cute. I'm going to show y'all one later that um, in another promo video. I thought this was so cute. My mom picked this one out. And then the one vape pulling out, that's the one that I chose. And I really like it. It's the blue and pink. I wish it really actually had lime green and pink. Actually. It's a pocket. I thought it was a pocket, but it's not. But I think they're super cute. These are like some trending purses. Are you really smelling? It smell like them jelly sandals. Back in the day, jelly sandals. It smell like old barber dog head. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this one looks like. I think this is gonna be cute. I don't know what I'm gonna wear with. I don't have like Instagram worthy outfits or none of that. But <laughs> I think it will be super freaking cute. To post in a picture, it smells like rubber to me. It smells like them jelly sandals, huh? Yeah, yes. Yeah, them jelly. Y'all know them jelly sandals. You old 30 and up, you know them jelly sandals. There's a purse like this from the other pop up shop Bay wanted to give me. Yeah, it was a tad big. Oh, yeah, yeah I did. Bigger, huh? I got their, uh, their Instagram. I like a lot of their purses. Like, I know I, she like different. I like different on a different level. <laughs> um, but I know her taste. Y'all know how I am. She don't like just, unless it's nude colors, she like those. Unless it's what? Huh? <laughs> hmm? What? <laughs> what did you laugh at? <laughs> nude. Nude colors. <laughs> like nude colors. Nude, nude color. Now, nah, so when it. she brought this bag to me, I know she was supporting some people, you know. Oh. Um, threw me left. She was like, babe, look through the bag. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, our kids had came already. Our nieces, our nephews came. Her mama there, like. My brother was her there. Her brother was there. <laughs> and when she brought me this bag, time I check it out, look in the bag, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> wow, all right. Well, um, all bad. right. <laughs> so this was one shop that I mainly wanted to check out. 
that was like the number one shop I wanted to check out. Um, the person who hosted was uh, Just Cause Laces and the DJ, what's his name again? Clifton, I think his name was, is the one who hosted it. So when they were advertising all of the vendors and um, all the business owners that was gonna be there, this one company stood out to me and I got super excited. I went to her table four times and like ended up having to leave, come back, leave, come back, leave, come back. And like when I finally got to her, we were like all excited to uh, talk to each other and stuff. Where's her business for? Oh, it's at the bottom. I see it. You see it? So it's basically, go ahead, tell them what it is. This? Their business. Is Flip it? Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. Don't show the, uh, what you call it? Yeah, I'm the not. I, I put my finger Oh, it's called Cootie Cat Care. Yeah, that's one. So my mom watching this live and called me talking about where they all at. Because they just, they know your name? No. My bad. All right. I'm going to bleep it. So. Well, my mom saw Amory live and seen Cootie Cat something and called me. She <laughs> asked me where we was at because... She seen something that said cootie cat something. Couldn't explain it. I didn't know what she was talking about. Like, mama, take a nap. I don't know. I ain't seen nothing about no cootie cat around here. And little do I know. I got a whole bag. Okay, so basically, I was into and more excited for the Yoni stuff. I got super excited because I always hear people on Instagram, YouTube, and all that talk about the Yoni steams, the Yoni bars, and all the yoni stuff so when i was talking to old girl we got to talking and i was like okay what's this what's this what's this what's this and she was telling me and she was hyping me up and i was like um you know what forget it put one of everything in the bag well so for starters i got the <laughs> yoni essentials oil this has a lot of stuff in it, you guys. It's like lavender, magnolia, clove, all that stuff. It's like pretty. It's very freaking pretty. And it's like a yoni detox. It regulates your menstrual cycle? Y'all, I didn't even see that. I just now read it that. It detox and, and soothe, soothing. What? Soothing. Remove infections and odor. Sexual lube and increased sexual pleasure. It's time to get it on. I want this work. Me too. Show them the bottle. Y'all, I was so interested in it that I was I'm just sure like, I have to. I was like, I have, can you pull it down some? There you go. Well, I can't see because you got a bag in front of us name, so. Okay, so that is the essential oil. Oops. The essential oil. So here is the Cootie K Yoni wash. Okay, so. This is 100% organic vaginal feminine wash will help you maintain the overall vaginal health and support a healthy pH D. I mean, huh? pH bam. <laughs> <laughs> so, you give you instructions, shake well, apply foam cream down there into the happy place, and probably once a day and rinse with water. You say with dry sheets. Dryer sheets. You say like one, you put four or five. In. Oh. So now this one is the sanitary napkins. Active oxygen and negative ion and far IR. It's a pad on the back. This That's pads, what I thought. These are pads. They're pad pads? Yeah, it, it's a 10 I pack of pads. pads. <laughs> it's a 10 pack of pads. Um, okay, I'm going to give those away because y'all, I don't wear pads. Uh... <laughs> Boy, I look like a, no, I look like a glazed donut back here, man. <laughs> I'm fine. So, the next thing she gave me was the vaginal inflammation self-test paper. And this is a sister female self-test cord. Um, it said, use cotton bug, gently collect a small amount of fluid from vagina. Apply it to the strip after 30 seconds. Compare the color strip with the color test card. So, so basically, what that is is you could personally test your own self for 
like a yeast infection or if your pH balance is off and stuff like that. So I thought this was going to say it's like a pregnancy test or something. No, it's for your hoo-ha. Oh, God. Okay, so this one here is another thing I was excited about. This here is, it tripped me out when she said it, but here is her logo thing. Cool cat. Kia. <laughs> I like it. I think that's why I was so excited for her. Cootie Cat Kia. She's a pretty cool girl, too. We was all excited talking to each other. Um, But these, y'all, this is going to trip me out, too. Oh, wow. Ooh. What's all that for? My bad. Is Hold that on. a tampon? No. Give me that. It is a stick. This is some type of tampon. That's a okay. big tampon. It's a, it's plus. Okay, y'all, like I honestly don't know what this is. Galaxy is plus on tampons. I don't know what this one is, but I do have instructions. So basically, what's in this bag? I, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna call it a tampon. But basically, these are the Yoni balls. They are in here. So what she told me to do was put the essential oil on top of all the Yoni balls and insert all three of them. Three. <laughs> I have to insert all three at one time and leave them for three days. Three days? Yes. You can still bathe and everything else with it. It's a How do you get out? It's a string. A what? It's a ball with a string hanging. Put them up there after putting your essential oil on it. Put it up there, leave it for three mm -hmm. days, and then three. take them out. Huh? Mm -hmm. So these are Yoni Detox Pearls. And it says it should be used 10 days before a menstrual cycle <laughs> or <laughs> directly after bleeding has ended. So it gives you the exact care instructions. It say how to use the three day Yoni Detox Pearls. So she showed me different pictures of after, you know, people have tested it. And everybody, she says, detoxes a totally different way. So I've been wanting to test those different things because it's supposed to detox the hoo-ha. I don't know if this is like a good idea to bring y'all any type of update. I don't know if that's gonna work. What do you mean? You gonna have three strings hanging out your hoo-ha. No, no. I gotta read exactly how it say, but if I'm not mistaken, she told me to put all three up there. For three days. She said put all three of them. But I'm gonna read it and I'll just give y'all like a update speaking form. I won't show no pictures or none of that. Alright. That's <laughs> called six. That that's too much, I think. Um, okay, and then the a uh, second to this last is, thing. This is where you get weird, bro. Second to last thing is this um Cudicad Vaginal Tightening Stick. It restores your body's natural flora. That's what it is. Come in a box like that. I'm for the open to see what this look like. I'm curious. Sorry. I didn't get to see it either. I just want to look at the thing. She like told it. me you just put it up there and let it go. Like, it just supposed you to be. You ain't got to leave this in for three days, huh? No, I guess it's like a cream or something. Oh, it's in a little. Know. Ooh. What? Feel it. Any luck? Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Hey, watch your mouth. My bad. It's like a piece of chalk. Y'all, that's pretty big. Come this way, son. Yeah. What the thing to you to do? It got instructions to this, too. I kind of want to smell it. Would that be weird? Yes. You have to lay down. It seems like you Wait, have to lay this down. Says you. <laughs> Wait, let me read it. I want to bad. Wait. You don't throw That thing is crazy. Go ahead and tell them out loud. Well, what you want, the directions or what? Yeah, the this? directions. Directions say, gently wet the tip of the wand in water for 10 seconds exact. <laughs> After that, insert a quarter to a half an inch of the wand slowly inside your vagina for 15 to 30 seconds while rotating. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Man, 
Man, I wish I would. I would laugh my ass. I walk in the bathroom like, make sure y'all lock the door if y'all decide to use the stick or something like that because a person gonna look at you like, that sounds you know, like freaky, you, freaky. You, you tearing it up in like, the shower. And I mean, a quarter, a right, so a quarter inch inches about this big, a half an inch is about, oh, quarter inch about this big, half an inch about this big. But that thing is long, like, I guess as if you got a little extra, you know, make, you know, get to it. Then it said, rinse your vagina after applying to clear away the discharge or residue. What discharge and residue is talking about? Do not soak or put in warm water. Let the one dry completely before storing it. Store it in a cool, dry place. Use one every three to five days to maintain tightness. Three to five? <laughs> They must be getting they open. must be getting bust open. You have to do it for three to five days. I'm just you know, I don't think you have to do it. They right. just saying like in general, if you're gonna use it often. So it's a hot this box. last item, I, I had said put one of everything in the bag. The and bag. while she was putting one of everything in the bag and started calculating, I started looking at the table like let me actually see what what she got on the table and. I ended up asking what this was and when it happened I was like hold wait I don't need that don't don't put that on there and she was like too late I already added it to you and she said this is her best friend so I don't Who best friend her best friend oh I thought you said my best friend I'm like girl stop I just went ahead and accepted it so, I said too late y'all know <laughs> if it come with a charger what it is I don't I think this is a maybe a bullet that's what she said it was. How do you know? That's what she said it was. Maybe. Come on now, baby. I go to them stores too sometimes. <laughs> bullet. <laughs> but I ain't never seen a bullet that long. But what's crazy is it's shorter than a stick. So, I um, mean, don't get too excited with some like that. It might go up and don't come down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Uh, man, this is quite white. You got Press it again. Cause that's what she's doing to me. Ooh, like a little rocket. Ooh, <laughs> chill out. Y'all hear this stuff? Look, catch the there. I don't. I'm gonna bleep half of it out, y'all. If y'all hear any of the parts being bleeped out, y'all already know what the problem is. So I don't know if YouTube is gonna demonetize us for this, but it has a oh. It has a beat to it. It's funny to me because I was not expecting it. Like, but its own little beats is funny. I thought it was hilarious. And I was like, you know what? Don't put that in my bag. And she was like, too late. I already added it to you. I was like, what? It is what it is. Thing, this little I mean, this, this thing loud. Like, y'all gonna check her out. Even if you need your little friend. Best friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At the other pop-up shop that my mom and my wife went to, I didn't know that there was another pop-up shop happening. They just so happened to walk up on it. So, here you go. Oh, they had a few other, um... I told them I was going to come back. I wasn't supposed to be over there for one minute. My mother-in-law, we actually just roamed off to go to Chicly Zona because she wanted a cinnamon roll. It's soap. Oh, that smell like that soap my grandma used to use. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It smell like hotel soap. What is I it called? Who is it by? Ooh. Breezy Ross is the owner. You sure? Serenity Sensations Hair and Skin Care is the name. Oh, Bre oh, Breezy Rose is the owner, but the name of the company is Serenity Sensation. All right here. It smells good. It smells like hotel soap. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get it, it don't smell bad. It smell like it's just strong and uh, it's very strong. I don't know. So. She picked up, it had like this goodie bag with all with everybody that was there, business cards. Um, I will have all their business cards listed down below too, like all their information. But the one lady that we did catch, we left our pop-up shop. We went ate at uh Crab Shack, 
And then we went back to try to catch their pop up shop before it ended. What's the girl name again? And it's that little one that they oh, is. Yeah. And we made it back and they were already shutting down and pulling out. So we did. They ain't gonna be able to see oh, that. Right. Her little thing. Crown Beauty underscore by Sean. She was selling the Nutriburst stuff. So they wanted to try the Nutriburst. I told her to try the vitamin stuff because I heard so many good things about it. She didn't have the weight gain stuff on her, but she said that I could go online and order it and they'll send it to me. So every time I try to get the Nutri... You. Y'all, she don't have no filter. She don't have no filter. Y'all just don't understand who this girl is, man. Every time I try to get the weight gain stuff it nobody ever has it on hand so they said she was gonna order me some so i could try to do the weight gain but i told her to get the nutriburst i always hear that it's really good and they say it and it's good. a lot of vitamins she said up in here and she oh, into vitamins i don't care i don't know i probably take vitamins i'm gonna have issues for so you feel me like she made me take 40 vitamins just a lot I'm a vitamin person. Like I, I just need them. Vitamins. Like if I don't take them, you gonna die type thing. So tell them a couple of the vitamins in it. They got the uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E. They got potassium. They got the little what's that one you use? Biotin. Biotin, magnesium, calcium, potassium, uh, vitamin B. Don't you use that one too? Mm hmm. And it looks like it's acid. a whole bunch. It's a, a fifteen hundred. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of vitamin A up in there. So then we got the lasso tea, the instant with full spectrum hemp extract, and that's why it smells like that. It's lemon flavored. Remember, I was saying it's detox calming effect. You come in a little single package. She said it's gonna make you little. I should pull one out. Okay. Um. This right here, it, um, she said make it poo-poo a little bit. You know, you boo-boo. For sure, gonna boo-boo. Maybe boo-boo, boo-boo. Don't overdo it. She said follow as instructions. There's 25 servings in here. We probably got this for a different reason than what other people got it for. It's a detoxing, and it's supposedly help you regulate yourself and stuff. And it's, it, it, it claims to be a gentle detox. So, it's all natural detox and cleanse. So... That is going to be, we're going to test it out and see if it actually works without giving the the stomach cramps. The, yeah. The stomach cramps, we did try the Keisha K.O.R. one and that thing make you buckle over into suicide. Like, what? I thought she poisoned me. That stuff like really cramps you up. So neither one of us really liked it. it um, even if you drunk a little bit of the tea, like it was horrible feeling so if this does the same thing which they claim it don't yeah if it does we got to let it go so that was about everything that was everything right yeah that was everything that we had picked up so this was just cause laces the owner of just cause laces first expo the black expo pop-up shop type of thing and I was super excited. It wasn't expensive to get in on or anything like that. I was excited to at least try because y'all know I have a new brand and all that. So I wanted to try to get my name out there. So we went there. It was like we made it there right on time, but we had to go to the Dollar Tree to get a tablecloth and Dollar Tree pissed us off. It was a line out the ages. It's our first experience. I don't like to be late. She always late, but she made it on time. Um, <clears throat> we both was nervous. Well, I ain't gonna say I was nervous. I'm I'm very much of a people person. Um, I love to be around a crowd. Not too much crowd, don't like attention though. She was nervous, cause it's our first experience on doing some type of thing like that. Um, but my overall experience, everything is a learning experience to me. Um, just to see how you gonna go in and the next way, I always try to plan ahead to uh, everything to try to go smoothly. It didn't go bad. It, it it was good. I mean, it was. I wish it was more crowd. That's the only thing I can say. I wish it was more all people like crowd. And that was mostly vendors, really supporting vendors. Um, 
on their product and switching out cards just so you can have either um a vendor if you want to go into the purses or if you want a vendor to go into clothes i mean they got people and all types of people that's there but overall my thing i thought it was pretty cool it wasn't bad it wasn't no drama the music was bumping it had smelled good food i mean they were actually cooking they you had guys. this business right here it's a bees pack it was yeah, they wings, were shrimp, corn, potato, sausage, fried fish pack, um, Cajun macaroni and cheese, bee sauce. Um, I think all this located in Houston. They had just other vendors there just handing out cars. Um, they have hairdressers over there, uh, people that um, do braids, twist sew-ins, and etc. I think it ended up being fun. We started, we seen like some very unique companies, like the t-shirt guy. Mm -hmm. He had some amazing pieces. Like, I wish I would have bought something from him, which I'm pretty sure I'm still going to go on and buy something from him because he has some unique, um, what they call dirty tees or busted tees busted is what tees. they're called. They have, if you guys don't look at nobody else, go look at busted tees because busted tees came out with some bomb uh shirts that he made and it was two guys sitting over there at their table so they, they do, shirts um, were really good they do <clears throat> tumblers design personal masks um promo items t-shirt printing so make sure to at least just go check out these companies even if you don't have it right now to buy it just at least go check them out and follow them at least show them some support because all of these businesses that came out um including us were all black owned small businesses and the vibe was so good there, you guys. It wasn't, it wasn't no drama. It was no messy. They would start playing. What's that song, David? The Cupid Shuffle. Girl, I told mom, I said, bro, I swear they started dancing. Every family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> they started dancing. Like, it was it was really fun. The vibe was great. I wish, I, I agree with my wife, I wish they had more of a crowd to come in and buy, but because it's the first black expo i think um they kind of lacked in the advertising or maybe it could be due to people didn't want to come out and basically support a shop i don't know what it was but it wasn't a lot of people there to actually come and purchase from every station or whatever for it to not be like a discouraging moment or a waste of time type of thing to anybody all of us just started buying from each other and it was all good like y'all see the stuff i bought it to me everything was good quality even if i didn't buy from them at the time because i couldn't i there's no way i could afford that even if i don't i didn't buy from them already i picked up everybody's business card to at least show some type of support to follow them to you know one day place an order with them type of thing because i really want to check out every last one of them and it would be they have a website i would love to check out everybody's website and see what their stuff is about because everybody was super freaking nice and everybody was having fun they had alcohol there they had food there they had a raffle and everything so i'm with babe the experience was hey, awesome man. it was it was cool like we know, i really enjoyed myself we know what to do what not to do i think uh just for our first time going they did bring a lot of stuff but yeah the case may be that how she packed it and how we set it up, it was easy clean up. It wasn't really not as bad as I thought. I mean, just by staging things better, I think we could work on that part. I uh, said oh, to bring a reader. lot less. Yeah. You say the, what? In the card reader. Yeah, the card reader, y'all. Y'all, if y'all didn't service. see my um my blog, my pop up shop getting ready vlog. Y'all seen that I had that card reader working and it was on and popping, but I think it was the the service there, but the card reader was tripping the whole entire time. But you know, most of the people they we had all different type of payment methods. I'm pretty you pretty sure we used every payment method we had. Yes. We, we used did. the card. We used straight PayPal without a card. We used Cash App and we used Cash. So yeah. unfortunately we was blessed. I mean we didn't get uh we didn't we went with two thousand dollars worth of sales with us we did two thousand dollars uh worth of merchandise mm -hmm. and we didn't bring home two thousand dollars but really carry on baby 
She shuffling the business cards, you guys. I want to play cards. But go ahead, babe. We didn't bring home $2,000, but I think we did really good. Y'all like my mess? We did real good. Um, we saw a lot of the outfits. Like, people were really hitting off the onesies and the two pieces. Man. They were really hitting off of that. And I'm big of not selling onesies and stuff like that to uh, to youngsters. I feel I, I'm I'm up there in ages. I mean, I ain't no little kid. I wouldn't want my daughter going out buying something like that, nor my little cousins. Like, so I, me, I act your age. Like, hey, I, I, you are you a grown up? Like, you a dope? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Can I get me a drink? Hey, baby. <laughs> We also advertised my sister and brother's company, Prince by Us. They made our clothing all the way down to the pants that I have on. Word. Yep. My niece, my oldest niece, the one I call my daughter that y'all know, she cut up my pants. They printed our shirt. Has the logo information on the back. I'll show you that. All right. So this is what it looks like on the back. My exact logo minus the lips. But it has our Instagram and the website, and a lot of people really, a lot of people really liked our outfits. The mask and everything, y'all. This mask she has on, the mask that I wear, the rainbow mask that I wear, all is by Prince by Us. My yes. brother and sister. Oh. So the whole family's got to get put on. My mom makes tumblers, wreaths, and all that. So we are going to go in on this next pop-up shop. My mom and my brother was there, and my youngest niece was there, the one that has her lip gloss business, too. They always there. We have great support, man. Yes. Baby have great support, like. We. Yeah. You had it right. They always there supporting and helping sell and everything, like. And they was buying other people's stuff. They was showing some love to everybody else, too. She went and made a whole bunch of sales. She went after people. She's more of a people person than me. I know what y'all see on camera, but in real life, like, she I'm shy. not the person that'll walk up to you and just be. Yeah. Pretty much everybody gets to know me first before they get to know my wife. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you pals are saying it another thing. I'm about to let y'all go, but God, Come shut on. up. Okay, but anyways, y'all. Just to sum it all up, I think we had a good time. To be in the first pop-up shop as well as her hosting the first pop-up shop. Stop. I was just listening. Come on, baby. Come on. Um, as, as well as her doing her first pop-up shop, I think it went well. So if you guys haven't um, watched that vlog, make sure you go and watch that vlog after this. And I will have everybody linked down below, like I said, with direct links and everything. So, yeah, make sure to go show them some love, whether it's following them or purchasing from them. And that is it for this video. Thank you, JKL, for hosting that Black Expo Part 1. And we'll see what it do in the next pop-up shops to come along. And Larry. What you said? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't catch that. That's why I didn't. Said on Larry. Say? I thought that's what you said. On Larry. <laughs> <laughs>